Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another course vlog where I'm playing Thai Country Club in Bangkok. Every time I get to play in Bangkok, I am never disappointed. The conditions are always nice. Anytime I get a chance to play a new course, I am ready to go. So the first hole here is a par four, pretty straight away, but my caddy told me that there's water pretty much straight down somewhere. So for my second shot, I have about 95 yards out and balls below my feet. I got a little too close to that water, but I'm going for my 58 degree wedge here. So downhill, right to left slider here. I didn't get a chance to really putt much. I thought I hit a good line. I thought it was a bit too fast. Yeah, a touch too hard there. Okay, so this is hole 11, by the way. We started on the back nine, but this is 160 yards. I'm using a nine iron, not too much trouble right or left. So I'm going right at this. And this thing was literally right at the flag. And I think I have like a tap and birdie here. Some revenge for that lip out on hole 10. Shout out to my caddy, by the way. She did a wonderful job filming. I was quite surprised at how good the footage turned out. So hole number 12, 410 yards. Just a standard hole, really, like a slight dog leg right. So I was thinking to just play a little cut down the right side. So for my second shot, I had about 115 yards in. I was planning to go maybe just slightly left of the flag here. Kind of tugged it a little bit left, but it was pin high regardless. So another birdie chance. And, oh, babied it. Just tap and par. Hole 13, just going right over those bunkers on the left, trying to play a draw. And I caught this pretty good. So this one was a bit tough. I mean, this one, I had to just kind of flop it over that bunker. It was like 40 yards, 50 yards, um, something like that. And the, the pin was kind of tucked really close to the edge. So all I was thinking was just don't leave it short in that bunker. So I just barely carried it. And at least I got a birdie chance still. Ooh, got it. So I'm feeling good now with two birdies on the card. So hole 14, par five, 547 yards. So pretty standard, not too much of a dog leg, but just a slight dog leg right. I uh, was going to play my standard fade here, but just blocked it a little bit too far right. But my caddy says it was okay. So for my second shot, I had about 270 yards left. And the right edge of that tree in front of me was kind of blocking my, my path. So I was envisioning a draw but the ball was sitting down in the rough but i decided to try and go for it anyways and i ended up hitting it really really good just missed the right edge of that tree so i was going right at the center of the green now i forgot to record my chip but i was just in front and chipped it close and just tapped in for birdie again so hole 15 391 driver over the bunkers on the left hit it pretty good Just in the left rough now, just a small pitch. And I also hit this one pretty good, pretty much in the middle of the green. And another chance. Oh, close. Just a bit short. So par three, eight iron, 166. Pin was on the right side, was trying to aim left, but just pushed it a little bit. It was going over the left part of that bunker and it thankfully caught the tongue of the green. This one I thought I hit a pretty good line here, but just didn't break. It's okay, just oh. another par. Okay, so another par five, 522. And water's all along the right side. I was pretty confident with my driver today. Did a pretty good drive here. So for my second shot, I had about 230 yards. 
And the pin was kind of in the middle of the green. You can see the water on the right there. My thinking was just to play it left side of the green, maybe have it cut in just a little bit. And it kind of faded a little bit more than I thought, but I was pretty confident it was still going to get over the water. So I just had a little pitch and I chipped it close and I have a birdie chance here that I missed. Oh. So a par. Quite disappointed here. Okay, 18th hole. Pretty straightaway hole. Hit a nice drive down there. Hit this one really solid. It's a little pitch. I was looking to perhaps get another birdie before the nine is done. And I think this was a touch long. Yeah, so I got this left to right slider now. Or I thought it was a left to right slider. <laughs> Just to tap in there. Okay, so we're back to hole number one. Fresh new nine. Good start. Maybe a touch more right than I wanted, but still okay. Small pitch. Put this one a bit high. Again, the pin was kind of close to the front edge there. And I hit this way long. Break. Yeah, just a boring par. Hole number two. Now this one was interesting. I could drive this green if I played a cut. But I just hit this thing dead straight. No cut at all. So it was still green high, but just kind of in the fairway part. Pitch. Thought it was going to roll up, but it didn't roll up as far as I wanted. Ugh, under reading it and leaving it short is like the worst feel. Next hole, par three. I hit this one pretty good. I mean, the wind was in our face as well. So I was kind of trying to play. A little bit of a knockdown here. And it just kind of went a little too far. Chipped it. Awful oh, chip wow. here. Okay, hopefully I can get this bar. And nope, under reading everything. So a short par five here, only 466 yards. So I'm going to be disappointed if I don't birdie this. So I crush this drive. My caddy says that there's water down there and she doesn't think I can make it. So I only had about 130 yards left. So I was still hoping to get it close and still make a birdie. So I hit my 50 degree wedge here and hit it really, really nice. Straight up the flag and I hit it pretty tight. So I still got a good birdie chance. Okay, still got it. But in my mind, I was like, that should have been an eagle. Okay, so short par four. Hit a good drive, a little bit over that bunker down the left. I was hoping to get pretty close to the green, so small pitch here. That was around 60 yards. I hit a pretty good shot. Okay, so another birdie chance. Boom. Two birdies in a row. Feeling less bad about not making eagle. So this hole was very into the wind. So I hit a punch six here, hoping that it can flight it a little bit, but I didn't catch it very well and it kind of came out really high. So it just went into that bunker just in front of the green. Okay, so I walked up just to show you my lie and the scenario I'm in. My only chance here is to just hit the bank just over the lip of that bunker and then hopefully it just trickles down. So it hits the bank, pops up. So I was pretty excited about this one. And it was an amazing bunker shot. I mean, this was such a good shot. I was so happy I had a good par chance. And I was so relieved that I actually made this. This was a really good up and down for me. So another par five I can capitalize on. And hit this maybe down a little bit down the left side of the fairway. So 
So here I had only about 160 yards, but I think I had a flyer lie. So I went with a really hard pitching wedge and I caught it just nice. So an eagle chance. And I wasn't leaving this one short or under reading it. And I kind of overcompensated. But tap and birdie. So hole eight, water all down the left side. Wasn't too worried because I just play a standard fade. So had a 60 yard wet shot, didn't hit it tight, just a standard on the green two pot, boring, blah, blah, blah. So last hole. Again, hit a pretty good tee shot. And again, about 80 yards out. I hit this pretty good. A little long, turns out. Thought I can get one more. Oh, just didn't break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the course vlog. So if any of you guys have a chance to play this golf course, let me know what you guys have shot and what you guys think.